Hello everybody, we're gonna take a quick look at the crowdfunded Super Troopers 2 Right Meow. Everyone's favorite highway patrolmen have lost their jobs as police officers after the Fred Savage incident. Tragic. And in the years since then, they've been working various odd jobs, but they are suddenly called back into action. A border dispute has arisen between the United States and Canada in a region just north of Vermont, and the troopers are setting up a highway patrol station in the area. And hilarity ensues. I suppose I should start out by telling you what I think of the original Super Troopers, which I got to re-watch recently for the first time in... I don't even know how long. Still good. It's one of my favorite comedies of all time. It's got so many funny scenes, so many quotable lines, and the opening scene of that movie is one of the best opening scenes you will ever see in a comedy. But of course, not everything Broken Lizard touches turns to gold. They have made some movies that were a bit subpar. I really like Super Troopers. I really like Beer Fest. Club Dread and Slam and Salmon are just okay, and Puddle Cruiser was utterly forgettable. I wasn't really sure where Super Troopers 2 would fall on that scale, but thankfully it did fall on the high end. This was very well done, pretty much just what I wanted from a Super Trooper sequel. They all slipped right back into these characters with ease. It's like nothing has changed in the last 17 years. Seriously, nothing has changed. These guys do not age at all. Kevin Heffernan especially is just amazing. Farva is just this giant mass of unlikable douchebaggery, and he plays that part so well. The mustaches are still on point, although Rabbit apparently still can't grow one. They still play some crazy games with unsuspecting people while patrolling the highway. They're still at odds with a rival police force, this time the Canadian Mounties. Naturally. And given that this is a movie set in Canada, you would expect plenty of jokes about Canadians. And there are, but that is by no means a one-sided battle. The Canadians get their shots in as well. There is a scene in this movie where Canadians make fun of how Americans say the word sorry. No, I did not get that backwards. And that is kind of brilliant. And I gotta say, Rob Lowe makes a pretty good French Canadian. And I do find it hilarious that his character's name is Guy Lefranc. So basically, the French guy. I know the French isn't exactly right, but that's clearly what they were going for. And given that this movie was released on 420, because of course it was, there is plenty of drug-related humor as well, though not so much pot-related. Part of the plot involves the troopers finding these drug caches hidden around Vermont slash Quebec, and they can't find a lab in either the United States or Canada that will test them, so they decide, hey, there's five different drugs in here, there's five of us, let's just try them out ourselves. Like you do. And of course they all have various results. Thorny's drug of choice in particular has some... interesting effects. Not gonna say any more. The movie is not without its flaws. The plot is completely ridiculous, which for Super Troopers is pretty much par for the course. Some jokes are weaker than others. There's one moment in particular, which is actually in the trailer, where Thorny and Mac are basically pretending to speak French by just rattling off a bunch of different French things. Gee, never seen that before. There are quite a few callbacks to the original, and they are hit and miss. Some of them felt a bit forced. Some of them work pretty well. Leader Ricola, you have that here? They went to the trouble of bringing back Marissa Coughlin as Ursula, but only for a cameo. Uh, although they also brought Linda Carter back, and this time gave her a bit more to do, which was nice. And honestly, I don't think this one had nearly as many quotable lines or truly memorable moments compared to the first movie. So overall, it's not as good as the original, but I still had a lot of fun and a lot of laughs. If you like the original, this is definitely worth a watch. If you did not like the original, then there's probably nothing here for you, so give it a pass. And hey, maybe in another 17 years we'll get Super Troopers 3. These guys don't age, it could happen. And meow, I think I'm done talking about Super Troopers 2. Until next time, take care.